Well, I love tools and uh, YouTube uh, is full of guys recommending tools and I don't really want to join that group just recommending things that everybody's seen on the shelf. Uh, just trying to get views. But my videos about tools have been fairly popular, which tells me there's an interest. And so uh, I'm going to put together just a couple tool videos of things that I think a lot of people haven't heard of and I find to be extraordinarily useful. So if you're familiar with a tool like this, these are sometimes called a bone tool or an automotive trim tool. And they're plastic and their primary use is for prying um, like upholstery trim inside of a car. And sometimes they have different shapes on them. Sometimes they have these big shapes like this. There's, there's all sorts of different kinds and uh, they all work okay. And uh, then there's the metal variety. This is for brakes, but it could be used in interior if you were real gentle or you taped it up. Uh, <clears throat> these are for dirt bike tires. And so there's this whole variety of hooks, and pry bars, and all these sorts of things. And, and they kind of all work just okay, I would say. And then my good buddy Adam told me about this tool about four years ago. And this tool is an absolute game changer. This is widely known in the aviation industry. My best friend's dad was a, a aviation mechanic and uh, my best friend showed him a picture of one of these. He's like, oh yeah, I use one every day. So um, I think they're called skin tools or uh, sheet metal skin tools, pry tools. There's a couple different names they go by. Thankfully now you can get them on Amazon for about 15 bucks a piece. And what makes them very useful is really just their their thinness. They're just very thin. Um, that's like a 30 seconds maybe, if not less. And so when you compare that to one of these automotive trim tools, uh, it's like a third or a fourth of the thickness. And what makes these not that useful at the end is that they bend. This doesn't bend. And it just slips into places and you can get a pry of course, you could modify this to give it something uh, like that, like a fork at the end if you wanted. I'm not aware that they make them that way, but, but that would probably be a useful modification. But these things are so stinking useful. When you own one, you will wonder what you ever did and how you ever did it before you had one. So I'd recommend getting a couple because, uh, you know, with these things, oftentimes you got to kind of work your way along a seam and pry something out. But this is the most useful of all of my prying uh, type of trim tools that I have and that I've used. There's nothing else that compares to it. And what's so great is that it's a proven design from another industry. So it's not even like this new kid on the block, let's see if it lasts. Uh, these have been around forever. They're just not that well known in automotive. Um, if you're a homeowner, I would say this is also a useful tool when you need to pry something like maybe molding or um, if you're taking apart an appliance at your house. I mean, it depends on what kind of homeowner you are. But if you're a bit of a do-it-yourselfer, I'm telling you, there's no other tool on the planet that works quite like this one. So I would highly recommend it. And uh, other than that, that's all I got to say. Have a great day, folks. Take care.